Good morning. Good morning. I was going to say, say Bonbini. You say Bonbini from Aruba. I think that was yesterday. I think you can say Bonbini from the whole time down yeah. here. Anyway, we are in Aruba. The ship got here at 7. Mm -hmm. We did not wake up at 7. No, because our <laughs> We have an excursion that's starting closer to 10. So yes. we're going to grab some breakfast mm -hmm. and get ready to go somewhere that we haven't been in a while. And do other things. Yeah, one of our favorite little beaches to go to on Aruba is Baby Beach. Yes. Uh, we haven't been made it down there because it's a good little ride and the cab fare is usually pretty high, but we found a tour today yeah. with Aruba Fantasy Tours, independent tour, that'll take you to Baby Beach with a couple of other surprise little stops in there. So. It's really affordable too. I know, I'm yeah. excited. But anyway, so let's roll out, get some food, and then we'll show you where to meet Aruba Fantasy Tours. Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's our standard array of yogurts, little muesli bars, gluten-free bites again though. Yeah. This looks cool. Okay, breakfast goodies have been acquired. Yeah. And we got a couple of iced coffees. These are a charge, but the food is included. Oh, we've been waiting for the almond croissant to make its they appearance. They weren't up there when we made the first trip through this morning. So almond croissant, I got a monkey bread, and a brand muffin. I haven't had one. I don't even know if I like it. I just, it looks good. Everybody keeps getting oh. it. Oh. So it sells out, sells out, runs out very quickly. Well, let's find out. It's got a lot of sugar stuff. That's true. That's what makes it good. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's grab some towels. Oh, there's the wind. I forgot about one windy island. Yeah, we'll just follow our signs towards city center out the front door. Go either way. Yeah, the shops kind of make one big circle, so as long as you take either loop, hey, Bon Beanie, and out the front door. All right, there's the actual taxi rates. Okay, so for $47 per cab, you can catch a taxi to Baby Beach. We'll just keep following the city center or whoops, to town signs. And the meeting spot is right up here in front of Diamonds International. Yeah, they've still got it set up where you can't walk straight out to where Diamonds International is. So you have to make this little loop around and back over there. Downtown. Here we go, we've rounded the corner. Coming up here, Diamonds International. So welcome to Aruba. Welcome, Bonini. Um, so I guess that 40 set was a $47 on the cab fare. I think that's the cab fare there and back. Yes. Yeah. We kind of priced it out one time to get a cab and we figure you're out about a hundred bucks if you want to do just a taxi to Baby Beach and back. But this tour, I don't think I said that the name, is called Baby Beach Express. You did. Even though it does stop and you get to learn about aloe and see some donkeys. Yeah. Uh, and it's $39 <laughs> a person, so for about $80, you can accomplish the same goal. You get like three hours at the beach. It's a good amount of time. Donkeys, aloe. Bottle of water, I think. Yeah, bottled water. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, it seems it like a convenient fun. option, so we're like, let's do that. Yeah. Now we wait. So they said they could roll up here anytime between about 9.40 and 10.10 to pick us up. I see we're in port with the Free Winds ship. We seem to see them a lot when we're here in Aruba. I think they're always here. Well, maybe. Maybe they live here. And we just had a bus, a little van roll through here and the guy yelled out the window, beach, to the beach, but we knew better. That's not our tour. You don't just get on random vans that roll by yelling beach out the window. We, no, told him, no. we told him we have a tour and he said, okay, and he moved on. No, everybody's super nice. They Everyone's are. pushy. You just tell them you have something else to do and they're like, all right, have fun. Yeah, so just, just wait, our time will come. <laughs> Man, yeah, now we just got handed $15 worth of match play, two of them for the casino, which I think is right down there by the Renaissance that we've showed before. If you just sit here, lovely people walk up to you. You get the coolest things. stuff. Man, Wind Creek Casino. I mean, you know, that's cool. Hashtag not a sponsor. <laughs> Ooh, I've never seen anything run on these rails. There's a little rail system. They got a streetcar. Cool. I like it. It's shiny and gold. And blue. And blue. <laughs> Oh, here comes a bus. All right, right on time. We are on the Welcome way. Welcome aboard. Thank, Thank you. you. It's a tiny island where we have 97 different nationalities living on the island. Wow. And that's why if you um, saw, like, you had, like, Suriname food, you had Colombian food, like, Venezuelan, Asian, you know? The yellow that you see, that's because the aloe vera is blooming right now. During the tour, they're going to explain how they harvest the aloe vera. It's something you can harvest continuously. Stop number one is the Aloe Factory. We've got about a 45 minute thing here. They're gonna do a tour for us. We get to learn about aloe. Maybe I can get some for my forehead. Yeah, my shoulders. <laughs> Aruba Aloe. Hello there. 
Oh, look at all the stuff we can learn. Oh, that is fantastic. This is the recipe. So they would cook the yellow stuff until it comes like this. Watch a little aloe movie. Right here. Blockbuster. They cut the outer leaf. So it will drip the yellow stuff. We're getting ready to start the official tour portion, which will take about 20 minutes. Look at this is aloe cut. Oh, we get to go back outside. We're going to the field. Holy moly. I hear he's outstanding in his field. Our tour guide, that is. We have around 45,000 plants here on the plantation and about 15 acres of land. So we used to work with the yellow sap. So this is a strong laxative and the most toxic part of the plant. They used to cook it for about 10 hours. And they let it sit down overnight. And when it cools off, it turns into this black rock. So you can use this gel as a natural moisturizer for the skin, the liquid part of the gel, for any sunburns you have mostly. Yes. For your hair also. Okay, so if you guys take a good yes. look here, mostly the strong laxative is concentrated at the bottom of the leaf. Okay. So that's why you can see it already dripping out. Okay, so you start by cutting the sides and stay as close as possible flat side normally so you can take take most of the gel you say if you take a good look here this is the liquid part we actually Got it. nice right yeah. so you just fill it up yeah. and you have your own filet of aloe but if you want to apply it on the skin just put it in normal water rinse it for about 15 seconds and you can actually apply it on your skin because that's what done touch it. She's rubbing it on my head now. Yeah, we'll see now. If I get an allergic reaction, no, I, I don't think I'm allergic to aloe. Mm. Now back inside for more touring excitement. And weird whistly noises. Oh, now we get to go upstairs. Oh, hey. That's cool. Oh, we get facts and aloe producing action. If you guys want, you can take pictures, you can get a fine, you know. <laughs> so this is the leaf cutting room. Nothing happening in the leaf cutting room right now. How, how often? Ah, they got a video about it. Harvest, so they normally do it um, one time per week. So the straw blade cuts smoothly the flat side open. And they just use a regular ice spoon to scoop the gel out. And that's normally what happens inside the leaf cutting room. Okay, there's where they, I guess, collect the innards of the aloe and get it ready to do stuff with. Nice. Oh, here's a bunch of, like, sciencey props and things. You see where the two white tables are normally? This is where they fill all of the other bottles manually by hand. Okay, so when the quality control has passed, if you take a look on the other side, Oh, so we got the Four packaging area. Okay, so we have one in, in, in Indianapolis, USA, for the distribution to Canada. Oh, they're making soaps and things down in this room. We've got a nice little sample bar here where you can try some of the products. We have like a different specific product. Laboratory and quality control room. So this is what we call the heart of the factory. So this lotion is made with cloves and free Wi-Fi. That's awesome. Organic essential oh, there's the laboratory. Some people like aromas and massages, <clears throat> but you can use it for any skin irritations, rashes, sunburns, mosquito bites. It controls eczema and psoriasis. Now back down for some shopping. <laughs> Look at all this stuff. We're learning about all this stuff upstairs. A little sampler you can try. All right, woo, Wendy purchases in hand. Holy moly. Back to our ride. Guys, I will visit Desert Island, so it gets very hot. So we have bottled water for you guys, if you guys want some water. So it takes about like, I'm estimating about 15 minutes to get to the donkey sanctuary, because it's located right in the center of Aruba. of 
donkeys that um, are kind of like the descendants of those that were picked up but also like because there's still donkeys in the wild so sometimes when you go to the baby beach you can still spot some wild donkeys um, holy donkeys, donkeys. Right <laughs> I can, okay. oh she wants to pet a donkey so bad older donkeys or they oh are these are the older donkeys he's a shy donkey Oh, okay. He's the donkey whisperer. Do we have a donkey? I don't know that we need one. If you can fit it in your backpack, I guess so. Yeah, so mostly they say they try to leave the donkeys in the wild, but these are ones that are a little stressed or older or possibly injured. All right, donkeys, we're moving inside. I know, tear her away from her donkeys. Oh, by going inside, we mean going inside with the donkeys. Okay, I thought they were taking you away from your donkeys, but no. More. These are officially D's donkeys. Look at all these donkeys. <laughs> That's a donkey's donkey right there. I didn't bring my phone. Wow, yeah, no photos by D today. Give me your phone. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're outside now, so I guess I'll ditch the mask. Oh, he's an itchy ear donkey. Holy donkey nuggets. You gotta watch your step out here. Might encounter wild donkey nuggets on the path. <laughs> Look, a donkey dance party up here. We've got music, pea fowl. We get to feed donkeys. Wow, it's a dream come true. Yeah, she said they're going to do a feeding from this area. It's a pretty peacock back there. <laughs> this is the best day ever. Oh, you missed the peacock. Oh, wait. Oh. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Like a battle, a little brown donkey. What kind of donkey is this? Oh, it's a donation donkey, <laughs> yes. Hello, beautiful. There's like a hundred, hundreds of donkeys. Oh, you got a little cup of food. <laughs> Flat hand. Yeah, I've, I've had a lot of animals. You have, this is like when we went to Massanutten and you fed all kinds of crazy yeah. animals. Oh, goodness, okay. Oh, she can make all the friends now. <laughs> You, oh. you figured it out. <laughs> this is the best day ever. Wow. She was just excited to go to Baby Beach and now here she is feeding all the donkeys. <laughs> yeah, you got lots of friends. I keep dropping it. Want some food, little donkey? <laughs> That That's one. not how that works. Oh, you have a big mouth. She's <laughs> dropping <laughs> I don't think he appreciated, no, oh, no, you have big mouth. That's, yeah, yeah, you gotta feed all the donkeys. <laughs> hey, they still eat it. Oh, look at you. He's like, hello. Oh, feisty donkeys. He's like, you will feed me. You want some too? Gotta get all the way to the corner and feed all the donkeys. Oh, you're so cute. Whoever's there. Alright, these buckets gone. But hey, I got a whole refill bucket. I wanna feed Licky Donkey over here. Yeah, he's very, he's very gentle. How much do you want? You want a big bunch? Hey, here, Licky Donkey. Oh, wow. Licky Donkey's hungry. Licky Donkey. Let's see if we can feed Licky Donkey's friends. Here, that down, Licky Donkey. Mm. Aww. Hi, babies. Licky Donkey's my new friend. Yeah. Right here, you want some too? <laughs> Y'all are messy. Look, the one down there is like, he's like, you know, he knows what's He's up. smart. <laughs> he knows what's up. Gosh, I feed him a lot. My bucket's almost there. <laughs> I've fed three donkeys. <laughs> I didn't do as much. I gave him a little bit. Aww. Like me, I know, I know portion sizes. <laughs> I was doing like a diet. Oh yeah, hey. Let's let, let's let aggressive donkey pets know. Uh-oh. End of the road. Uh-oh. <laughs> Nicky donkey is my best friend now. I fed like half a bucket to Nicky donkey. Nicky donkey. Alright, washy washy time. Man, all these donkeys. Oh, this is Licky Donkey over here. I could have had another Licky Donkey friend. Wow. I'm 
sure these donkeys are well fed. You can't help a pet a donkey. I'm gonna have to check your pockets before we get on the bus, aren't I? Make sure there's no donkey in there. I don't think one would fit somehow. Little donkey pockets. <gasps> Time to say goodbye to our donkeys. Well, we've learned about aloe, we've fed donkeys. Next stop, Baby Beach. Dee doesn't want to leave this place, but you know, she does. She is excited for Baby Beach again. Yeah, donkeys, peacocks, chickens, everybody's hanging out. Oh! It's your friend. I think I gotta go, but I will say hi. Wow. I wanna say hi. Oh no. Can I pet you? It's like, okay. How to get off the path? I have to go. I don't want to. Bye, donkey. I'm gonna volunteer here. <laughs> she's gonna be like, oh, guys, let's go. Uh oh. You, you can't. Oh, she's calling all the donkeys over. <laughs> she brings all the donkeys to the yard. Bye, baby. We're coming with him. Oh, why have they got to have donkeys so close to the bus? Donkeys? These are windy donkeys. <laughs> D, the donkey whisperer. Oh, they're <laughs> All right, to the bus. So that these donkeys, so you know, they can live 30, 40 years oh, easily. Wow. Right. So you can see the inside of the wall, which are the rocks. Oh, yeah. So I don't know if you guys remember the Bushiri Banagal Smatter Ruins, which is stacked rocks. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh. So right here you can see how um, back in the day they would create the um, the houses. You know? So now right now we're gonna the, you're gonna be at the Frenchman Pass, which connects to the Spanish Lagoon. So if you're hearing, you're hearing a lot of other nationalities. All of these are coming back from the time where we part of the colonies, right? Mama Grill, we are here at Baby Beach. We've got just over three hours to enjoy. 